Welcome back to another episode. And today, we're gonna to do something a little bit different than a regular project. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at my bamboo experience. Okay, so we've had the bamboo machines for quite a while now. Uh, I started out with this P1S, and I've had this about two and a half years. And then uh, I have the A1, which I actually have two of them. I've had them both for about a year and a half now. Uh, the other one, I gave it to my son. Before I got the P1S a couple of years ago, uh, my experience with 3D printing was, like most people's of that time frame, the old Ender 3. Uh, I've actually got four Ender 3s here at the house. And uh, we also do have actually an Anacubic Cobra 2. Uh, which I absolutely hate, but that's not part of this video. Um, today, we're talking about these two machines and uh, how they've been over that time frame. Uh, like I said, I started out with the P1S and I do have the AMS unit with it. Uh, I do not currently have an AMS unit for the A1s, um, but that's okay. Um, the Things that I typically print out are single color. I usually don't do multicolor stuff, um, but I would recommend for anybody that does pick up one of these machines to pick up an AMS unit to have at least one. Um, and the reason is because of running out of filament. So uh, if you don't know the AMS, you can put more than one of the same color in it and if you happen to run out while you're printing, you, it'll tell the machine, move over and keep going to the next slot, which has the same color in it. Uh, so it does definitely help out with, uh, you know, running out of spool uh, filament in the middle of a, of a print and stuff like that. It just will pick up and keep on going, which is pretty awesome. As you can see, I've got them working right now. And uh, these are for another video, and uh, hopefully it's entertaining uh, because it is a bit uh, uh, tchotchke, but it's uh, taken quite a bit of engineering to get it all done. So it's pretty cool. Hopefully you like it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, after it comes out for this one. Overall, the experience with both of the machines has been great. Um, I typically, you can even see here, I've never even taken the SD card out of this one. Uh, it's still taped into place and I only had to do it here on the P1S uh, not too long ago. Uh, so uh, when we were having internet problems here at the house, so I couldn't use the Handy app. Um, and yes, I typically will use either the Handy app uh, to monitor my stuff and I send it over from my computer where I'm doing the slicing. So uh, it, that interface is really nice. I know some people have uh, some things to say about the uh, um, uh, connectivity, the cloud stuff and all that, and I get it. Uh, you can do it offline if you want to. Uh, this is, and that's really how I planned to do it when I got these machines was I did not plan on putting it onto the internet uh, and, uh, and doing the cloud thing. Uh, but then I was like, oh, let's test it out and see how it, how it is, and then I can turn it back off. And well, as soon as I started using it, I was hooked. So um, I only really use ever the cloud service on, on it uh, with Bamboo Studio. Uh, it works, it's good. I can't really complain. Um, through the Bamboo Handy app, uh, I monitor my prints when I'm not here at the, in the house, or actually sometimes when I am in the house, because I'm not down here. Um, I'll just pop it up on my phone and look and make sure something hasn't gone catastrophically bad. And, uh, um, you know, or check times, how long it's going to be until uh, the print should finish and such like that. And it's a, it's a, it's a hard one to beat. It really is. First, let's talk about my experience with the P1S and my history with it. Uh, I bought the P1S on a Black Friday sale um, the year that they came out. So it was about two and a half years ago at this point. Uh, so they shipped it here to the house 
and uh, it was a fine experience. It, it, I actually did an unboxing um, on uh, the YouTube channel and all that good stuff, and uh, it, it was fun. Uh, great machine. Uh, it's been really a workhorse for me over the last two and a half years. I uh, really don't have very many failures, and when I do, uh, it's not catastrophic. Uh, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it's a bed adhesion issue or what have you. Um, but uh, I'm down here in my office. I have no windows. I really don't have a whole lot of ventilation out of here. So it, it, it stays a pretty constant temperature down here. Um, so I leave the lid on and uh, have never had a problem with it uh, since then. Uh, it's operated really well. Uh, the AMS, I've had a few times where I've had to go in and clear it out, take it apart and clear it out um, because filament broke somewhere inside there um, uh, or the PTFE tube uh, was worn out, but nothing major. Uh, on the P1S itself, I recently did have to change the uh, extruder, um, the, the hot end on it, not the extruder, but just the hot end. Uh, and. Uh, that was a fine experience. It wasn't very difficult to do. Uh, and I did recently add a light to the inside to give it a little more brightness so you can see. Because if, if not, you wouldn't really be able to see it that good. So that Panda, the Panda Lux Touch, uh, whatever it's called, I'll put a link in the description for it. It's a real cheap upgrade from um, uh, Big Tree Tech. Well worth it well worth it for this machine. Um, it gives you such a nice view of the print as it's printing. And the A1. Uh, the A1s, uh, like I said, I bought two of them. One is upstairs actually printing uh, another one of these parts right now. Uh, and uh, um, they, they've been relatively awesome. Uh, this one in particular, uh, I had a blob of doom at one point my own fault. I had it set for um, PLA settings, but I was printing PETG, uh, and uh, um, I had the camera covered up, so when I wasn't here, it got ugly, and uh, so I had to replace uh, the whole hot end assembly and all that good stuff. Uh, wasn't nice, but it was a really easy fix, actually, and yeah, I did a video on that, too, so um, link if you need to see that one. Uh, Overall, though, the P1S has been a great, um, I'm sorry. Overall, the A1 has been a great addition to the uh, shop here. Uh, and uh, uh, you can also see here the upgrades that I've made to it. Um, I added the Pandalux light uh, like I did with the P1S. Uh, and also, uh, currently, So uh, currently, I have the uh, the, the uh, uh, build plate from uh, Big Tree Tech as well. Uh, I think it's it's not Glacier Frostbite, maybe uh, whatever. It's the lower of the two ones. Uh, and holy cow, does that thing stick! Uh, if you are having any kind of adhesion issues, pick one of those up. It's a great addition to the uh, to the printer. Uh, stuff almost prints too well to it. it it's really wild um but anyway so uh the a1 it's been a great machine i do not have an ams for it at this point um the, they did just start doing their sale again their annual sale uh so their pricing is back to what it was before the tariff stuff so um i might be picking them one up uh, for my son and i may get one for this one too i'm not really sure yet we'll see uh, but uh, but generally speaking, like I said, I only usually print one color uh, at a time. I like doing it, the design stuff that way. Um, but uh, uh, it, it does a great job. Uh, it prints, it prints, and it prints. As far as a printer user is concerned, I really don't mess around with the presets very much. Uh, I'll change a little bit of the infill or what have you, but most everything else, I run it as it uh, as they suggest it to be. 
So I don't change the speeds on these. Um, some people go ludicrous and all that other stuff. Uh, I just want the nicest looking prints. And uh, if that is using the baseline, um, you know, print settings, that's what I'm gonna use. So I don't, I think I'm like most people who would rather just hit the button and let it go. So let's compare life with the two different machines. Uh, realistically, there's not a whole lot different. Um, yes, I do have the AMS for the P1S, so I can do multicolor stuff. Um, but let's just talk about single color projects at the moment, like we're doing today. Um, the P1S is definitely faster uh, than, the, than the A1, uh, but it is not such a difference. It's not a P1S to Ender 3 comparison, if you understand what I mean. Uh, you know, you're sprinting with this one and you're going 90% with that one. I mean, it's, it's not a huge difference in speed of them. Uh, other differences, probably the biggest difference between the two is the noise. Uh, the noise of the P1S, it is, if you're hearing anything through the audio right now, it's the P1S. The A1 is virtually silent. It, they have the uh, noise cancellation and all that on the A1s, and it does a fantastic job. Uh, if I had five of these sitting here, you probably couldn't talk because it would be too noisy. But if you had five of the A1s, it probably would be the, the same volume as one of the P1Ss. So the A1 is much quieter. So if you're gonna put this in a place where, you know, family is around and you don't need it to make a lot of noise all the time, the A1's the way to go. Hey, hey, you, you watching. I appreciate it for watching, I, I really do. And if you are watching, why don't you click the like button for me. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe, come on. We're trying to make this something here. And uh, you know, it's good times. So like, subscribe, maybe even comment. Uh, other differences between the two, uh, and it's probably the biggest pet peeve that I have about the, the P1S. And it's the greatest thing I think about the A1. And that is the way that it ejects the filament poop. So on the A1, you're ejecting out the side over here. Uh, and on the P1S, you're ejecting out the back. I couldn't tell you right now how much is in the back of this machine because I never look at it. It's probably a pile. But to me, that's the biggest problem that I've had with the P1S or, or that I have in the design of the P1S. Put the poop chute out the side. It's so much easier to deal with. You don't have to get behind the machine uh, to, to take care of that. I'm, I'm sure they would have done that with the A1, uh, except for it being a bed slinger with the bed moving back and forth and everything. It probably would have been a pain in the butt to design it that way, so they had it go out the side. Um, but, uh, well, no, you really couldn't. Nope, I don't think you could. Anyway, uh, the side exit is just so much easier to deal with. You can see it. It's not, uh, it's easy to go, okay, hey, I'm getting a lot of poop in there, so I gotta go dump it. Um, but uh, the with the P1S, yeah, don't think about it because you don't see it. Uh, yeah, you could have a poop chute that comes around the side or something like that, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. I just don't, I don't care. I'll just take the poop chute out of there and just let it poop all over the floor. That's why I call this one Amber Heard. Uh, yeah, if they redid the P1S, give me a side poop chute. Makes life so much easier. And then give me the, the little touch screen. I, I, come on, little touch screen. And this, this, that's the other reason why I use the Bamboo Handy app. And maybe that was their intention, was to make this screen so shitty that you use the Bamboo Handy app because it's a color screen that you can touch. Um, but this machine that costs 
half as much as what this one does, roughly. It has a touch screen on it and it's good. And it does what you want it to do. It gives you status, it gives you all the stuff easy peasy. But they don't have it on this machine that's maddening. Do you have one of these machines and would you recommend one over the, over the other? Let me know in the comments. So, uh, overall though, and with the A1, really I don't have very many complaints about that machine at all. Um, probably less than what I thought I would have. Uh, but it's a good machine, especially for the price point. In the end, would I recommend a bamboo machine to anybody looking to make or to have an, ah, fucking shit. In the end, would I suggest to get a bamboo machine for your next printer or first printer? Yeah, I would. Uh, they're great machines. Uh, they, they've really taken the, um, they've kind of dummy proofed it. And it, it's, I think a lot of other companies are still trying to play catch up. Uh, that being said, if I'm to buy another machine, would I buy another P1S or buy another A1? I'd probably buy a Centauri Carbon.